back again, and this is an optional video, right? So you don't need to li uh, listen and watch this one, but if you are a Linux fan, then it might be interesting for you, right? Because we are yeah. going to do some performance testing with Linux virtual machines. Exactly. So uh, you see here in the failover cluster manager, the good old old tool, I've installed multiple Linux versions <laughs> because I can. And uh, we, I think the second one uh, the, is, is this machine here. So no, it's the third one, Linux Benchmark 3. This is um, Ubuntu desktop version. Mm -hmm. um, I downloaded it, installed it, uh, and uh, was also with a 50 giga, gigabyte uh, virtual disk. Um, mm -hmm. And after downloading it, um, you can install a tool that does the same uh, than our good old I.O. meter. And uh, Bernard, you actually found that, right? Uh, do, do you want yeah, to give so, some context here? Yeah, so the tool is 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 called FIO, uh, FIO, um, FIO. F-I-O. I think that's the right pronunciation. Uh, it's not from Microsoft. It's a it's a tool, I think that is well known for I/O testing for the Linux folks out there, um, and it's rather mature, I would say, right? So the uh, what you can do with it is it's quite impressive. However, it doesn't have a nice GUI, maybe, but you know, a Linux. At man least we, we didn't found one, right? <laughs> a Linux man doesn't need a GUI, right? So they do that <laughs> via command line. Exactly. So anyways, I mean, the, the task is, or the question would be, does a Linux machine show different results than your Windows IO meter box is, you know, maybe we can do the test, like is Windows, uh, is Linux faster than Windows or is it the other way around? I mean, yeah. um, <laughs> let's see how that performs, right? Um, yeah. I, but you didn't do any tunings, right? So what you did was you you have chosen the latest Ubuntu desktop you have set the same virtual processors, the same memory, exactly. I would assume, assume the same disk. OK. We, we yeah, can then. have a look here. Uh, so we, you see we have eight virtual processors. We have also right. four gigabytes of RAM. Right. And we have a 50 gigabyte disk. And it's even in the same okay. uh, CSV, so volume, okay, than our uh, IO meter um, uh, okay. VM. So same. Same volume, same size, same processors, uh, same mm -hmm. memory, everything is the same. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a quick addition, if you want to have a, um, um, a command line tool, uh, you can also use disk SPD under win uh, Windows. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It would do roughly the same than uh, FIO, let's say. Mm -hmm. So the most difficult part under a Linux distribution is find the right installer to install the product, <laughs> right? So in, uh, if you're not in familiar Ubuntu. with Linux, then uh, yeah, then that's that's it. And it happens to me. So app get install feel. OK, that's... Yeah, I did that. And I did that already. So it mm. is installed. It's it will okay. download all the dependencies and install mm. them. It was quite easy. And then the, another hard part is everything we did in the GUI. Yeah, mm -hmm. how how large the um, the file is uh, where yep. we do our testing. Here you see 10 gigabyte in size. Mm -hmm. I have a test file in a separate directory. Um, yep. uh, we use an I/O depth of 10. That was that was our outstanding I/O in I/O meter. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We have a block size of eight kilobyte, and we have a read-write pattern of random read-write. So it should right. do 50-50, and we will see yep. that because mm -hmm. I tested it already. The okay. other other things you have to to look up in the documentation. So we use a direct uh, the direct yep. one. We use the lib reo, whatever that means. Uh, it's the measurement is time based. We have some group reporting. Uh -huh. We name it IOP test job. I think it's for the output. Yeah. And we let let the test run for the 120 minutes. Uh, seconds, sorry. So let's go go uh -huh. in, right? So uh -huh. okay. So, so you're studying eight processes that are using the same file, right? So I mean you could have different files, you know, for every process uh, for every process, but um, you've chosen the file name switch, which um, creates only one file rather than eight individual files, right? Yes. So, okay. and I opened also uh, Windows Admin Center. So we have mm -hmm. some information here. Um, 
we have already 24% of the test duration is up. Mm -hmm. So we, we said two minutes. We see we read 370 mega MIB. <laughs> That's the correct one, right? Maybe, and uh, maybe byte, maybe byte, maybe byte. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. And no. the same amount, roughly the same amount mm. we write. So it's also 50-50 test. We mm -hmm. see we have the same amount of uh, IOP. So roughly, okay. if you add these, it's uh, roughly over 90,000 IO operations per second. And mm -hmm. we we have the same here in Windows Admin Center to to, to check this. Let's move this okay. a little bit down here so you see here is our iops and here's our uh, mm -hmm. data we move it's 50 50 and here mm -hmm. you see our latencies 70 microseconds uh, and 280 microseconds so um Which it is does nice, roughly right? the yeah it's nice and the, the numbers are better than the numbers we have seen in iometer mm -hmm. before yeah. um we but had some issues, I, right? Um, yeah, the, some, somehow it, it was tired or the, the disk <laughs> were too new or whatever. So okay. we will start it, start it again. And last time I checked, we had roughly the same values uh, mm -hmm. that we get with FIO. And it should be the same. Right? Yeah. So what you should see is, you know, you should see almost equal number of IOPS throughout the test, right? So you shouldn't see a, a massive drop or rise or, you know, some yeah. outages. This is I, not I something that Bit, see, so right? what do you so mean it, here that, that there is yeah. a drop somewhere and there is should a be, read right? 80 and something, right? However, I mean, I mean, if you have other workload running on that cluster at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. um, then it will obviously drop, right? Because we don't do any, uh, any quality of service here. That's, yeah. we could, but we haven't done so. So um, the system takes what it gets. And this is um, this is currently what it what it is capable of, right? So, and that's why we should test on an empty system, right? After the deployment, have nothing on, do it right afterwards. Then you should see stable, consistent IOPS, and then you know that at least you know it. You can uh, you can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, you see here we have roughly ninety thousand IOPS, eight K, mm -hmm. full mm -hmm. random. And mm -hmm. that's quite good. Uh, like it. Um, something you should expect. So I promised we will also have another look at the Windows machine. So let's mm -hmm. let's uh, no, don't do that. I do this, and you will you will say you already connected. So I have to mm -hmm. log in again. We'll do that, and you see it's this was the last one here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not running because the flag is there to press on it. So the last one was ninety thousand seven mm -hmm. seven hundred nine. I don't, I, I don't get it. Not megabytes. It's maybe bytes. Maybe bytes. No, I don't. Maybe bytes. Okay. And <laughs> let's let's run yeah, it again. Started. So it's it's in the same volume than our um, Linux mm -hmm. uh, VM. So here you see. It's a little bit less. So in the moment we have 85,000. The Linux machine was a bit over 90,000. So it's mm. a little bit less, but it will get there. So, um, so we, were, uh, we will say video, like we were, Linux, we were Linux joking, is a right? Bit, Linux <laughs> is a little bit faster than Windows. I well. can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> second that. I can't. <laughs> it's no, not we don't know. <laughs> well, you have an update frequency from five seconds, so it might yeah. you know bump up or jump down a little bit. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, it should be the same. And in other mm. tests, uh, it was the same. So, yeah, uh, I I didn't want to uh, reinstall the Windows machine, or uh, so uh, it is fine. Uh, and uh, I like still I like IOMeter because mm -hmm. you see immediately what's happening, even with the latencies. And right. you see this the same latency than in the Linux machine, and mm -hmm. all the. Uh, guys who like Linux more than Windows, I'm sure there's also tools where you can see the latency and so on. Yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. so this concludes our first benchmark, or uh -huh. the second, uh, really. So this machine yeah. shows us um, what the, what a virtual machine can get out of the system. Um, um, and it's quite nice. And I would have, I would love to have more than 100,000. And usually I am, but uh, here um, we want to go on with the videos and not mm. 
not uh, find the last the last percentage we can press out of the system, right? Okay, so okay. now we tested two individual virtual machines performance, and now yeah. I think we should test a lot of virtual machines performance. Yeah, now now system. we go to the Uber test, uh, so the, <laughs> <laughs> the mother <laughs> test. So see yeah. you in the next video. I, yeah. I think that would be multiple videos because first video is set up uh, VM fleet and then we play around with it. Huh? Should we do that? Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.